Hey, we're back. This will be how you lay out plate one. I've already drawn my border and I have my title block done. The next thing I'm going to do is to divide this plate out so that I can do my lettering. I'm going to begin by measuring between my borders. It's 10 inches. The paper's 11 inch. I have a half inch margin on each side. I have three quarters at the top and bottom. Halfway between 0 and 10 is 5. I'm going to put a small mark there. and I'm going to draw a border line through the middle of the plate. Now, the next part gets a little tricky. You're going to be dividing this section with marks. 1 8 5 16 1 8 5 16 1 8 5 16 1 8 5 16 all the way down the paper. This is going to allow us to put the whole alphabet on here. I'm going to start. I count 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, and then I slide it down a little bit because it makes it easier to put my marks. carry all the way down through. When I reach the bottom I should have three sixteenths left, which I do. Okay, I made these marks a little bit dark so you could see them, but in reality when you're drawing them you want these to be nearly invisible. <coughs> now it's simply a matter of drawing all my construction lines. I'm going to hook take this. Now you have to be careful, you get some shadows off the T-square, off the plastic, so you have to be careful that you're hitting your you're actually hitting your mark and not hitting a shadow. I guess we need better lighting, but it is what it is. And I'm going to draw construction lines. Again, these construction lines really should be very light. I'm darkening them up a little bit so that you're able to see them on the video. really helps sometimes if you stand up while you're doing this. It makes it a lot easier. If you're sitting, you're reaching over and your vision isn't as good and you're going to end up missing some of these lines and they really need to be fairly precise or else your letters will not all be the same size. Hitting these as best I can. Okay. <coughs> now we do lettering. Fairly simple. Start here. I'm going to make each one of my letters. I'm going to make an A, then I'm going to do a B, and I'm going to go all the way through the alphabet. Using down strokes and right strokes. Now, one of the things is your lettering that you might want to consider using. It's one of these mechanical pencils. I bought a pack of 24 for these for $5. I think it's Staples. This is some .05 millimeter. It's much nicer because a mechanical pencil uses cylindrical lead rather than cone-shaped lead, which wears down. As this wears down, each one of your letters is going to get, your lines is going to get wider and wider and wider, whereas this will remain the same. And then just take your time and use your mechanical pencil. Just remember, you cannot press as hard. We're using sans serif letters, no serifs. If you don't know what a serif is, there should be a dictionary nearby. That's what I mean about breaking the lead. Remember keeping your M's. Uh, see, you get the letters wrong, then you got to erase. If you erase, it shows a mark. Try not to lose your concentration like I just did. M. And then I'm going to come over here. I'm going to do N. O. P. I'm 
the idea of this is to learn to make precise letters. Q R S T U V W. And remember, W's go all the way down in the middle. W, X, and Y, and Z. And then carry across making all your letters until you have about 18 to 21 of each. If you fit about 18 in here, ideally 15's too few, <coughs> probably 21's too many. If you're hitting about 18, you're gonna be perfect. And then when you're done, you use your care, peel your tape off so you don't tear the paper. Don't leave the tape on the paper or on the board. Make sure you get all the tape off. You're going to save your index paper for future use. When this is done, take this, turn it in, and that is plate one. <coughs>